Hi guys, welcome back to Four Strong and Growing. My name is Alexa and I'm pregnant right now with my third baby. She's due on Thanksgiving, but I have a feeling that she's going to come earlier, especially after this appointment that I just had today. I'm dilated guys, so she might be coming earlier. We'll get into it later. First, I want to address this craziness that just happened. My camera that I've been using for this channel for the past like five years, and I had like a secret channel before this. I used to want to be a beauty guru before the whole <laughs> beauty community collapsed on YouTube. I've been using a Sony camera. If you're a camera person and you want to know, it was a Sony Alpha 5100 with just like the 16 to 50 millimeter lens, I think it is, that I think is standard that comes with the camera. Since 2017, I've been using that camera, six years. And it just decided to die on me, which is so sad, but I've been saying for a long time I needed a camera upgrade. So anyway, long story short, I'm filming on a new camera and I switched from Sony to Canon. I'm using the Canon R50 with a 28 millimeter f2.8 lens. I hope it looks good. Let me know. I'm a little bit closer to the camera. I'm not sitting on my bed anymore. I could sit there and like film it the way that I was doing it before, but I kind of felt like it looked better if I just sat like this. Let me know what you think. Is this an upgrade? It better be an upgrade because it was more money. <laughs> but today I am 37 weeks pregnant. So I want to go over all of my symptoms from week 36. And you guys, this was an eventful week. Let me tell you, there's a lot going on. I just had a prenatal appointment today and a lot went on. So let me just catch you up with everything that's been going on. My symptoms are on my phone. I'm just gonna read them from the top. Feet and ankle swelling is really bad. I have pictures of this. I'm gonna put this up on the screen. <laughs> I'm ashy, my skin is cracked. I know I need to put some lotion on my feet, but you guys look at how swollen my ankles and my feet and my toes are. I have never been this swollen before and it was actually a little bit frightening. So what I did to alleviate this was just drink more water and then I ended up elevating my feet above the level of my heart for a few times a day for maybe like 15, 20 minutes at a time and the swelling did go down, but that is a lot of swelling. Maybe it won't look like it to you because you don't know what my feet normally look like. Take my word for it if you can't see it that my feet are really swollen in this picture. Okay, so when I wrote this down, I wrote that I was having possible contractions and now I'm convinced that they were real contractions because I'm dilated. So on the 26th of October, I was hand knitting a Christmas tree skirt for Copeland's little Christmas tree. Side tangent, we went to at home and we bought the kids Christmas trees for their rooms. We got Adalia a pink one and Copeland a black one just to go with their personalities. They didn't have any Christmas tree skirts that were the right size there. So I decided I was gonna be crafty and hand knit my own. So I'm down in the den, it's late at night and I'm hand knitting his skirt and I just feel pain. The next day, I also felt some painful contractions, maybe just one or two while I was watching Harry Potter. So over the course of those two days, I had a feeling that something was happening down there and I might be dilating. I was really interested to see at this prenatal appointment if I was. So let's get into that appointment. They did all the normal things that they usually do at these appointments. They did the fundus height, which was measuring fine. They listened to her heart rate, which was 150 beats per minute, which is good and they also tested my urine this time. They don't do that every single time. They have a little test strip with two indicators on it, one for protein and one for glucose. And this time I actually did have a slight color change for protein in my urine. I asked my doctor about that and he said that it's actually kind of normal to have a little bit of protein in your urine at the very end of pregnancy. He said my kidneys are just working really hard and he would only be concerned if I had gestational diabetes or or preeclampsia, or if he was concerned about my blood sugar levels. But since I have none of those issues, he's not concerned about it. So that's good. I also weighed in at 132 pounds, although I was wearing a lot of layers today because it was 25 degrees this morning. My clothes probably weighed a few pounds. I'm probably closer to, I would say probably 129, 130. This was also the appointment that I got checked for group B strep, GBS. This test is just a cotton swab in the vagina and the rectum, and they send it off to a lab to test it for streptococcus, 
what is it? <laughs> Streptococcus something. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's usually done between 36 and 38 weeks of pregnancy. Also, just so you know, they do go in your bum hole as well <laughs> because some people might not be prepared for that and they didn't warn me. He's just like, okay, this is me. It's gonna feel scratchy. Luckily I was prepared for both holes, but just in case you just think it's a vaginal swab, it's not. This bacteria that they're testing for is a normal bacteria and about one in four pregnant women have it and it doesn't cause them any problems as an adult. But if you give birth vaginally to a baby, their immune systems are obviously weaker and it can cause an infection in the baby. So if you are one of the one in four women who test positive for GBS, then what you're supposed to do is try to get to the hospital at least four hours before you deliver so that you can get IV antibiotics, usually penicillin, but if you're allergic to penicillin, I'm sure there are alternatives that they can give you at the hospital. Hopefully I'm not positive for this because I hate laboring in the hospital. I'm a fan of laboring at home and just like getting things done, being busy, being able to walk around. And I think that helps labor progress and it just is easier on your mind when you're in the hospital setting and you're either confined to a bed or, you know, you, you just can't move around as much. You can't be as comfortable. I feel like it's just mentally harder to labor for that long in the hospital. Also, this is my third baby. I feel like she's gonna come kind of fast. I have a towel in my car just in case I give birth in the car. I have a towel in there to catch her and like wipe her off. But like, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't come to that. <laughs> but I do like to wait and labor at home longer and go to the hospital kinda at the last second. <laughs> And then the last thing that he did was get my consent for a cervical check. So I said, yes, I do want to have my cervix checked to see if it's dilated. And he said that I'm dilated three and a half centimeters already. So I am in very, very early labor right now, technically. If I'm remembering correctly, active labor is when you reach six centimeters. So I'm more than halfway to active labor, which is really exciting. I think she'll probably come within a week or two. I really don't think I'm gonna make it to my due date on Thanksgiving. I know I keep saying this in like every video, but I think it would be so cute if she shared my birthday, which is next week, November 7th. Today, I am technically 37 weeks pregnant, which I misspoke in not the last video, but the update before that. So my 34 week update, I accidentally said that 37 weeks is full term. And then I looked on the NIH website, and I believe ACOG also said this, that 37 weeks is no longer considered full term, that's considered early term, not preterm, but early term. And then full term, I believe was 39 weeks. Let me double check this so I don't say it wrong again. Okay, this is ACOG's website. Early term is 37 weeks to 38 weeks. Full term, 39 weeks to 40 weeks. And late term, 41 to 41 and six days. And post term is 42 weeks. So technically I am not full term, I am early term. <laughs> But when I went into my appointment today, my doctor said that I was full term. He said, all right, 37 weeks full term. So I don't really know. <laughs> Do with that what you will. <laughs> So that was the end of the appointment. I have been warned that I'm on labor watch and to err on the side of caution and just go to the hospital if I feel like I need to go to the hospital because baby is coming. <laughs> so that's everything that I have for week 36. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I also have a lot of really exciting videos coming. I have so many freaking ideas that are on my phone. I don't know how I'm gonna film it all. I have, of course, these weekly updates. I have meals that I'm going to be prepping for postpartum, like freezer meals. So I'm gonna be cooking nonstop for the next probably three days. I have like cute family vlogs coming as well because even though a lot of people don't watch those, but those are my kids' favorite videos to watch. So we have like our Halloween vlog because tomorrow's Halloween. And then of course, after Halloween, November 1st means Christmas. So we're gonna start decorating those little Christmas trees that we got the kids. And then I wanna show you what's in my hospital bag. I wanna show you what's in baby's hospital bag. I'm changing my birth plan. I'm updating quite a few things on my birth plan and how to choose a hospital. And I just have all these ideas of videos to make. So hopefully I don't go into labor too soon because I really do want to film those before I get to all the cute newborn content. I will be back next week, hopefully, unless I go into labor, I will be here next week for my 37 week update. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.